monday.com dashboards tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can navigate through the monday.com project management platform and start creating dashboards to optimize your workflow. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you can see I'm in my main workspace and you can create many different workspaces here on Monday. And before I show you guys the basic features that you have in your dashboards, I'm going to navigate you through what the monday.com platform is like. So on the left side, you have your workspaces, your notifications, your inbox, your work section. So you can monitor all of your work over here. After that, you have your applications and plugins. Then you can invite members, search, and then you have your account settings over here. Now, within your workspace, you can choose a specific workspace as your home workspace. So in my home workspace, I have different boards. You can create a board just by clicking on this add section over here and then click on a new board. Now, there are many ways you can add a dashboard. First off, if you click on a board over here, you can just click on more or you can click on add view and then you can add a dashboard view for the board that you have selected. So you can rename this dashboard view as well. And then you have these options to visualize your board data. So you can have a bad battery widget, you can have a calendar widget, a chart widget, a Gantt widget, a number widget, and a workload widget. Now, this dashboard helps you visualize your data, and that is what basically dashboards are for. Usually, dashboards are used by clients to monitor workflow. So to add, maybe if you want to add a workload widget, you just click on this icon over here, and then you're going to add your workload widget. So you can see over here, I have my workload widget. And then obviously I haven't added any tasks to my workspace yet. So it's empty, but then you can monitor today's task if you want weekly or daily workloads. And then you can see over here, you can make this a full screen widget as well to monitor workflow within the dashboard. You can rename it. You can change these settings to customize what kind of items you want to display on your dashboard widget. And then you even have time calls. So you can see that this is going to be categorized based on date. You can add custom fields over there as well. Let's, I'll just switch up my workspace. So let's say if I go into this workspace and I click on add and I click on new dashboard, you can see over here that this is going to be a entirely new dashboard. And I'm going to click on create new dashboard. And then I can choose what different boards I want to select. So I can select multiple boards for a singular dashboard. I'm just going to select one dashboard. So let's say I just want my dashboard to illustrate the work that is being done in IT. So this is the, I'm going to open up the IT board. This is the IT board. And if I click on this dashboard, Board. This will illustrate the workflow that is happening on the IT board. So I am just going to maybe add a chart. We're just going to click on the item. And now you can see over here, the item is going to be added. Of course, depending on your personal preferences and needs, you can add or remove as many widgets as you want. These are the six basic widgets. And if you go into apps, you can find more widgets as well. So if you search for widgets, so you can see over here, the circle CI widget enables you to build your own widgets and automations to add to your dashboards. Now you might be wondering, although this is a great Great feature. This is not very functional in terms of doing your work. And that's the thing. Making a dashboard is not for you to actually do your work. Your work is going to be done on a basic board like this. So the dashboard is only going to serve as a illustration of how far apart the work is, how it's being done, if it's on time, what the workload is, what is the average timing of your tasks and all that. The basic work is still going to happen on your basic board. And a tiny little limitation that I find with monday.com is that their dashboards are very limited to one dashboard per workspace or one dashboard per board. So I can only make one dashboard for one board if I'm using the free version of monday.com. So if we take a look at their different prices, you can see over here that their free version is available for two members. You can create unlimited boards, docs, templates, and all that, but you cannot create a dashboard based on boards. But on their $8 per month version, you get to create a dashboard based on one board. So as I created this dashboard illustrating the IT work, you can create one with the basic version of monday.com, but this is not available on the free version. Now, after that, you have a 
$10 version, which is going to enable you to combine up to five boards within a single dashboard. So if you want to combine IT features and releases, marketing team, and you want to have a singular dashboard illustrating all of their workflows together, you can make one using their standard plan. And you can do that with two more boards. So you can add up to five boards. After that, you have the pro version, which allows you to create and combine up to 10 dashboards. So you can combine as many boards as you really want on the pro version. And although it's 10 boards that you can combine, I usually find that after three, your dashboard is going to look a bit clogged. So you might want to stay at three. And if you click on add widget over here, you can see different apps that enhance your dashboards with widgets that are built in the monday.com apps framework. And you can view different widgets in the widget center provided by monday.com. You can add collaborative whiteboard. You can add online docs, goals, board to globe. You can add a Facebook feed. You can add a Twitter feed. You can have a embedded air table. You can have a word cloud and all of these different visits. So this is just a general overview of how dashboards on monday.com work. Although I find these very helpful, I would suggest that there are many other project management software such as Trello which will enable you to do your work far better than doing it on monday.com as although monday.com is very detailed, I find it to be very useful in that regard because it provides you with a lot of task detail. So if I was to open up a singular board over here, open up this board, you can see there's a lot of detail that you can view on monday.com. However, the issue is that you're not able to view your work with dashboards on the free version. So if you want free dashboards, I would suggest that you go and head on over to Trello where you will be able to view different dashboards and illustrate the workflow without having to pay for a premium version. Not only can you do this on Trello, but you can also do this on ClickUp and ClickUp is also another project management software that is going to help you and organize it. So you can also add a very beautiful dashboard here on ClickUp. And if you just click on view and you can add a map, you can add a mind map and the general dashboards here available on ClickUp are far more comprehensive. So if you click on dashboards, you can click on add a dashboard and then you can type whatever kind of dashboard this is. You can add a widget and all of this is available for free. So you can have a task list, a workload status, time reporting, calculations, portfolios, tasks by assignees, chats and text blocks within your dashboard on ClickUp. And I find this to be a bit more comprehensive as compared to monday.com in terms of illustrating your work. However, if you're more oriented towards your work and you want more detail on your actual boards, go with monday.com. But generally, the dashboards on ClickUp do work a bit better. And this is just my personal opinion, but monday.com really does do dashboards well as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.